Hydrilla stems are long, slender, and freely branching with whorls of three to six leaves that have visibly toothed edges, which distinguishes it from the native plant, Elodea. Hydrilla thrives in lower light conditions and deeper water than most SAVs and can form dense mats that shade out native vegetation. Due to how densely it grows, Hydrilla can not only alter ecosystems but also create problems for navigation and recreation. DNR scientists evaluated multiple control options and have designed a comprehensive management plan that includes population monitoring, chemical control, education, and outreach. A bit of mud, a droplet of water, or a tiny plant fragment is all it takes to spread harmful plants and animals. To minimize that risk, we're asking all residents and visitors to thoroughly inspect and clean vessels, trailers, and gear after each use. For trailers, this includes the bunks, wheel wells, wiring, and lights. For boats, you will need to check all surfaces, the engine, the prop, and the anchor. For personal watercraft and jet boats, you'll need to check the water intake and nozzle assembly as well. Deposit any foreign materials in a dedicated waste station or trash receptacle. Drain water from the boat, motor, bilge, live wells, and bait containers before leaving the launch, and always leave boat plugs out while traveling. Wash live wells with a mild bleach solution to kill plant fragments, fish eggs, and microscopic animals that could have been pumped into the boat. Also be sure to clean your fishing gear, tackle, and other recreational gear. Always dispose of worms, unwanted bait fish, and fish parts in the trash. Releasing live bait fish could promote the spread of disease. Taking just a few minutes after each trip can help prevent lasting damage to Maryland's beautiful waterways. Spread the word, not aquatic hitchhikers. Thanks very much for your help.